Welcome to the Corps Report. I'm Lance Corporal Clayton Filipovich. And I'm Lance Corporal Ali Byswinger. Marines who have been using tuition assistance know that this year has been rough, but things are looking better. The Corps has an additional $40.5 million to send Marines to school for the remainder of the fiscal year. The money will break down like this. Just a reminder, Marines can only apply for TA if they have at least two years' time in service. Also, first-time students must establish a good academic track record, so they'll only be approved one course at a time. To read more, click on the link in the video description. Marine Corps Assistance Command recently tested the Corps' newest flag jacket with Marines from the First Light Armored Reconnaissance Battalion. The new jacket, known as a Modular Scalable Vest, is designed to provide Marines with a single vest system to increase mobility. The new vest looks just like this. Even though it looks larger, the MSV is actually lighter than the two systems currently fielded. You know, it did take you a long time to put that on. Yeah, well, I'm a Pogue and it's my first time. What's this new Cyborg piece here in the back? It's supposed to help distribute weight evenly across the back and the hips. Well, what do you think? Well, I think it feels great, but don't take my word for it. Even though it's still in early development stages, Marines with the first LAR didn't have many complaints. Minor changes like webbing placement and a more comfortable neckline were suggested. For more information, click on the link in the video description. All right, Bicewinger, get me out of this thing. We asked for your help finding the next featured Marine and got some amazing nominations. This episode's featured Marine has a story so awesome, we'd rather you hear it from the man himself. With us here today is Captain Brian Jordan. Morning, Marines. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Welcome Thanks to the coming, show. Sir. Thank you. So you were awarded the British Distinguished Flying Cross. What happened out there that day? I was. Um, well, there was a routine mission that we were doing, uh, JTAR, and uh, things kind of went sour towards the end. Uh, British soldiers stepped on an IED and we had uh, limited fuel, limited time remaining on station and decided to execute the Kazavak to get the uh, soldier out of there and uh, save his life. So what was your reaction when you were awarded this, uh, this medal? Extremely humbled. Uh, it's a great honor to receive this award, but I'm receiving it on the behalf of my crew as well as uh, the uh, Marines that take care of the uh, aircraft maintainers. Uh, without them, we wouldn't be doing this uh, or being able to done that mission, do that mission. And, uh, the Marines like uh, Lieutenant Colonel Lightfoot and Captain Jablonski, the section lead, putting down suppressive fire as we came down uh, and executed the Kazavak. Uh, Co-pilot Captain Josh Miller and then uh, crew chiefs, uh, Gunnery Sergeant Bond, Staff Sergeant Say, and uh, Corporal Martinez. Uh, those are the guys that made it happen, and, uh, and I'm glad to have them had, have had them with me because uh, without them, this mission wouldn't have been successful. Do you have any words of wisdom for our viewers out there? Uh, just adhere to your training. There's uh, wonderful instructors out there and great Marines out there, so listen to what they've done, uh, learn from their mistakes, and, and uh, learn from what they have to say. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You're welcome. The heroes of today continue to stand on the shoulders of the legendary Marines of our past. February 19th marks the 69th anniversary of one of the most well-known battles in Marine Corps history, the Battle for Iwo Jima. We'll never forget the fierce fighting of our Marines or their iconic feats like the flag raising on Mount Suribachi. Secretary of Navy James Forrestal said, the raising of that flag on Suribachi means a Marine Corps for the next 500 years. Remember, you can catch up on everything else going on around the Corps by logging on to our official social media sites. Those links are in the video description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next payday. Right here on the Corps Report.